We are at uh, Kids College Hospital in Jumeirah. They moved you short yes, notice yes. for the day. Um, and as you know, my daughter's going to be married now in eight weeks, which is Congrats. really it's coming around very fast. Yes. What can you tell people that they can do about their smiles? Because smiles are so important. Smiles are very important, especially for the bride or being mother of the bride. You want to make sure you're looking good for your pictures. It's the biggest day uh, of the bride's of her life. So um, people start to, you know, they want to prepare the way they look, their hair, their skin, their teeth, their smile. But so very often I think you forget, you forget that yeah. you're, and even if you're not a teeth smiler, mm -hmm. which I don't tend mm -hmm. to be, but the whole package yeah and and also people look at your face look at your eyes yeah. and if you have a good set of teeth mm -hmm. it's really well i did to my husband this morning yeah. actually do you to get your teeth whitened mm -hmm. he said no they're yellow i don't care <laughs> yes. what do yeah. you mean you don't care it all depends on the patient what they think of their smile if they're conscious or not conscious uh, usually uh, people you know, whether if someone's commented on their teeth that they're a bit yellow, then they decide to come to the dentist, or if they've seen in pictures nowadays with social media, everyone's really zooming in and checking in on themselves. So, uh, whitening is an option for them. Okay, so let's go back a bit. If you're going to go as far, and I think probably the, the, the longest term would be Invisalign. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what sort of time span? I would yes. for over a year. So if you're looking to change the appearance of your teeth or the look of your teeth, uh, we would advise you to have a consultation before your wedding, when you're engaged and on the way, because uh, sometimes these things like your design takes a long time, it's a process. So sometimes some people's Invisalign treatment takes a few months, and some people's take maybe a year. So you want to plan it before your wedding. Um, and then there's other options as well. If you want to do things like uh, veneers or crowns or smile makeover, don't leave it to a week or two before the wedding. There's already too much stress happening and there's so many other factors involved. So uh, do have a consultation leaving up before the wedding a few months prior so you can properly. Okay, so now, so we've now shaped our teeth, we've shaped our... Um, you've got the right position of the teeth. Exactly. Yeah. And also there are little things you can do, like smoothing them off to make them all the same level. That's quite an easy so, procedure. Uh, you can have, um, although as dentists we don't like removing enamel too much, we like to keep it because once the enamel is gone, you can't grow back. But we can do some minor adjustments of the teeth, whether it's a bit of leveling, or sometimes some people, especially nowadays, lots of people clench and grind their teeth yes. and they chip their teeth. And these small chips can be corrected with, which you might have had composite bonding. Composite, right, which actually lasts a really long time. Mm -hmm. And as long as the colour is matched, and that's another yes, point actually, yeah, yeah. getting the colour matched. Yes. Because if you're going to get your teeth whitened, the composite doesn't change. It doesn't change, no. Right, so you do have to take that into consideration. So you have to do always your tooth whitening first you get the colour that you want and then you do the next procedures because you cannot whiten a crown or a veneer or the filling. Once the filling is on, you can't whiten it. You have to change the whole filling. The main thing is you need to do planning. Right. It's not a last minute thing. Nice. Which you can do. So if yes, I came to you yeah. and said, right, my daughter's going to get yes. married on the 15th of June yeah. and, it, and you can do the whole process. Yeah, yeah. So if I want to whiten, say for the 15th mm -hmm. of June, when would you suggest? So there's a few different whitening techniques. Which I, 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 I yes. actually it makes me very nervous to yeah. the thought of whitening. Yeah. So um, whitening or bleaching, there are two options. One is in office, which is, you might see the Zoom in office chair bleaching, where it takes around two hours and you have this blue light <clears throat> and your teeth can whiten and that's more if you're you know if you need it whitened by next week or in the next day so if you have a short term plan then that's what you need to do um, but and it takes a few days for the color to settle because the teeth are dehydrated when you have this uh, in-office tooth whitening well you are dehydrating them uh, by, by doing the process because the, the mouth is open for a long time 
the teeth are a little bit, they look very light when you go home. And then after a few days, it starts to dull down. Okay. Because straight away, they compare it, it's a strange analogy, but to wet cement and dry cement. Uh -huh. So when the teeth are wet, it's like a wet cement color, and then when they're dry, it becomes, you know, desiccated, very light and bright. So then the patient thinks after a few days, how come my color has changed? It's because in the chair, you were open for two hours, it's become very dry. Then the color settles down. And the other option is uh, home bleaching, which is the trays that we as a dentist, we make for your teeth. Yeah. And you go home and we give you the uh, bleaching gel and you apply bleach in your trays and sleep with them overnight. And within usually around, some patients take about two weeks, your teeth can lighten. So you can plan this before the wedding. Lots of patients do this method. Um, this method also tends to have less sensitivity than the, the home bleaching, bleaching is less sensitive. sensitive. Yeah. Mm, okay, I think probably yeah. that's the way that I should mm -hmm. go. What else? <laughs> so uh, for you know changing the appearance of your teeth, if you're looking at the basics, you go for a consultation, you check is it just whitening or brightening of the smile that you need. Um, if you don't like the position of the teeth, do you need some sort of orthodontics or Invisalign to straighten and get the position? And then once you've got, you've got that uh, straight look, do you need veneers or crowns? Is there something that needs to be changed? So it's a long process, but there are so many options. You factor in the time involved, the price of the procedures, and what works for you. As long as you do it before the wedding and you don't leave it to last minute. Also, because of the tooth whitening with sensitivity, don't do it you know, a few days before, let the sensitivity settle so that you can be happy and smiling on the big day and you don't have other stresses. The teeth whitening in the clinic, yeah. is there any way that isn't going to hurt or is it just, uh, so I'm waiting for the pain the whole time? So uh, nowadays um, there is a desensitizing agent that we put on the teeth before we do the whitening. So that reduces uh, the risk of post-operative sensitivity, but there's always some, even with the home bleaching, but with the home bleaching, if you whiten your teeth and you try it for the first time at night and it was sensitive, just skip the next night and try again. Okay. But it settles. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but the one that you do here, you spend two hours, isn't it, it's done in 15 minutes in increments? Little, yeah, little bursts. And I think when I've been before, they've said if it's too you sensitive, you just stop. then you, you can stop. You sort of put your hand up and yeah. say, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you may be paying for the two hours for only going 15 minutes of your account. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So do take that into consideration. Yeah. I am a total coward, although you are a living dentist. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Get the smile sorted because it is important, really is important for eyes and your teeth. Yeah, for, the, for the big day. For the big day, exactly, all those photos. But Caroline, you're perfect as you are. You don't oh my to, goodness, you don't do well, that's because I've had Invisalign and I do need to get them white a little bit yeah. because I know there are going to be a lot of flashy white smiles there. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs>